Okay, today I want to talk about doing some UV mapping in 3D Coat. Uh, in particular, uh, what I'm looking at today is this fence object, right? So I basically stripped, I'm, I'm going to be putting it into Unity. As you can see, I've stripped out all of the uh, uh, all of the interior uh, stuff that's going on. I've got some holes through here, but I've all the edges and everything else they're all they're all taken taken out so what i'll do is i'll uh, export this 3d model as an obj i'm going to call it the uh, east fence low because it's a low polygon model and i've exported it now i'm going to launch into 3d coat and show you how i'll go about um uh uv mapping this let's first move this uh where we want to be on the side. Okay, there we go. So let's open up our object. Okay, so first off, um, there are no UVs in the SketchUp, uh, and so this is going to. I'm going to get this warning, which is fine. So because I'm 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 working in a situation where I've got all these other objects that are relative to this one, I want to make sure I don't want to center snap this, and I want to make sure also I would triangulate it because it won't necessarily automatically triangulate it, and there may be some smoothing artifacts that come across as that. Everything else I leave just as it is. Okay, so now it loads it way off site here, which is fine. Shift A will center it, and I hit the F key, and that's going to allow me to rotate wherever around. So this is basically my model. <clears throat> so let's go into the uh, uh, UV area. So this is a UV. So as you can see, this is what it's built out. Uh, First thing is I want to make sure that all these 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 uh, these long pieces right here, as you can see, I've got a lot of area in my UV. I want to fill this up, but these long pieces are kind of keeping me from doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide these up. And the way I do that is I'm going to uh, zoom in here to about the center, which is about right here. And I'm going to take and I'm going to use... Uh, by the way, th th this was the auto mapping. It looks like it did a pretty good job. There's a couple little artifacts here, but for the most part, this is going to work just great. I'm going to click on the edges over here, and I'm going to select this edge. Hold the shift key down, select this edge, and select this edge. And then I'll scroll down here, and I'll say set seams. And I'll do the same for here. Hold the shift key down here. Uh here and here and set seams now I'll go back to islands and now we can see that that these are now islands that I can pull around right so that's pretty cool so now I've got basically the right size islands I can break them up a little more but if I just basically go and say uh, unwrap right now uh, we'll see that we move them around which I don't particularly like that because you know it bent it a little bit. It's trying to unwrap it and keep everything smooth, which which is not really going to be great for me because of the way the texture maps are going to work inside of Unity. So I'm going to go say uh, Pack UV. So I'll just go like that. So Pack UV will move these around a little better. So let's move it over. So there's my, now you can see I'm using a lot more of the space. Now, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go into this thing and say Simple Check. I'm going to say Complex Checker. So if you can look in here, you see that I've got all these characters. They're all going pretty much the same way. Uh, on this on the walls which is kind of what I want Let's shoot. F key again to rotate so what I don't want is oh that's interesting see I lost a polygon right there it looks like that's a problem well that's right we'll get to we'll get to that later but so as you can see um, this right here is not the right way so I'm gonna go and uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just straighten these up right here so I'll go back into island modes I'll Hold the shift key down and select a few of these islands, the ones that are all angled. And let's take that. Once I let the shift key up, I'm going to get this. I can move it out to the left and then just pull my, you know, and use it to update it. Now, what I'm doing this, now once I've got the orientation set, I always want to use pack UV2. And there we are. That packed it well. Command D, deselects just like in Photoshop. Now I click over here, and you can see this one needs to be moved. So let's click that, hold the shift key down, and find the other eye. Oh, that one, and just rotate it. 
clockwise or counterclockwise. I don't really care because I don't have any like text or anything going on there. That'll be fine. So as I move, let's keep moving around and see what we got. Uh, so it looks like it looks pretty good. So once we're done with all this, then what we'll do is we'll pack UV2 again. Make sure we get this one fixed. Deselect. And then we apply the UV set. Uh, say okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna export this, and I'm gonna choose my same X fence low, and I'm gonna call this low, and I put a hyphen dash UV save, and then I choose the none option because uh, I don't all I want to do is export the map of the UVs. I'll I'll texture it inside of uh, Unity so. Okay, and that's it. So I just want to show that's uh, some real simple uh, UV mapping uh, as it's done in uh, 3D code. Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.